why? Why has to end? Why does series like this have to end? Such a wonderful series that lasts so long and it ended just now, this week, this season. Why of all the years to pick to end? Just, I don't get it. Why God hates me this? Why God hates me to suffer of the ending of a series that is so beloved? Just why? Damn it all. Oh, man. Why Wakugu has to end this year? Why has to end this season? Why? Why Gintama has to take a little break and then come back later on whenever it wants to come back because it wants to do more recap just for the live action movie's sake? We're just why? Oh, wait. What were we talking about? I, oh, yeah. We got this is Naruto ended. Hooray, I guess. Depends if you hate it or like it, whatever. That ended too. But the other series, what about those winter seasons? Just why it has to end now? Why can I just last 25 episodes, 26 episodes, 50 episodes, eternity like One Piece? I guess you just can't have everything good these days. You just can't have everything rewarding. Oh, well. Oh, I'm exhausted. I could end it right now. And I don't need to do this. That would do it for today's episode. Oh, about five, five. Let's continue on because we got spring to come up to talk about spring. Let's talk about spring. But first, this is Sparta's World episode 68. Here as Sparta 3G just done moping around because of the winter season. It's actually a pretty damn great season, in my opinion. There's some really underrated series that I haven't checked, but I'm hearing a lot of great things from them, and I want to check them out before I get to spring. But then we enter this new season, and, you know, it looks good, but how good is it? And that's what we're going to talk about today's episode. But I'm not going to do it alone. I'm actually going to do it with a friend of mine and a guest today. Introduce yourself. Slaying a Titan, becoming a hero, or trying to live out the shadow from your father. Hey, guys, what's up? Lucky T7 is here today, joining here with... Uh, you know, what's part of Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he just heard me moping around about the season ending. All these great seasons. All the already anime of the year contenders. Already the one that was my anime, that is my anime of the year from last year. Just had a new season and just ends up being another remarkable season, which is rarely happens. So that's what I was sad about. Yeah, I'm also sad about the fact that Gintama is actually going to take a break just to have some more recap, which is fine, but I would like to see a more different episodes. But what can you do? That's okay with me. There's some other series that I want to see myself. The Blue Exorcist is back, but now it's about to go away again. And God knows if it's ever going to return. I can't really say for sure. And now we're entering spring season with two returning se- series that one of them actually finally came back after four years being away. And it's kind of amazing that a series that's such a, a big landmark to worldwide, no less, mainly U.S. and Japan. I can't say for every year Euro, in Europe, but maybe they are. But regardless, it is definitely a phenomenal. And that I'm talking about is Attack on Titan. It's finally coming back with season two which something I never thought I would say, to be honest with you, because it, it feels like it's been delayed, if not just a just a, a wishful thinking. So here we are. 2017 seems to be a, a revolutionary year for some series that's actually coming back. Oh, we just need some other one like Steingate to actually come back, but time will tell on those. Right now, let's just focus on spring. But first, I would like to ask... How's everything going along with winter season or 2017 in general, Lucky Chi? As far as winter goes, I actually think it was pretty good for what we, we for what we've been able to get. As far as Blue Exorcist is concerned, I kind of started watching that a little late, but I've been enjoying it. And another good se- another series that started off in winter was Tales of Zestria, which is based on the game, and so far. It, it's been great, but there have been a couple episodes that have been a little hit or miss. 
but that's based, but that's that's kind of it for for um for that series. But so far, like I think um aside from those two, it's pretty good. Well, that's good to know. Well, you know, there's there's a lot of series. I uh, and admittedly, I haven't catch up on all of them, but I will catch up before the spring season really kicks in. I mean, some of them are about to start on April first. There's no April Fool right there. They all gonna start on April first. Well not all, but the the main ones like Tag on Titan and Tag on oh Tag on the Hero. <laughs> My Hero Academy <laughs> My Hero Academia season two. They're both starting at the exact same day. I don't even know if they start at the exact same time. That would be amazing and kind of Suicide on one end, no offense to My Hero Academia, because, you know, Attack of Titan is a bigger name for now. But anyway, the point is, those those the, those animes are going to start the beginning of the literally the first day of April. So I'm trying to catch up with all these anime as we speak. Um, I already finished one. I'm trying to finish um, Blue Exorcist. It's almost it's, the last episode should be out. I think tomorrow, where as I'm recording on Thursday. So yeah, so last episode is coming there. Then the one that I was talking about, my anime of the year last year, is going to end tomorrow. And I only up, I'm up to episode eight at this point, but I I love it so much that I can re- I can see it as my anime of the year already. It's just that great. Then you know I haven't started Gintama, but I'm definitely going to start obviously because it's Gintama, and eh, a lot of people are already praising it like it's all, all high and mighty. It's just unfortunate that we're going to have a take a break with a recap, but I don't, I don't mind as long as that that doesn't mean that we're going to start the final arc, and that means oh no, the anime has I mean, the manga has to rush it. Oh no, we got to rush the ending. Let's just finish it right away. So that's actually that's actually a good thing, a blessing in disguise, in my opinion. I haven't seen the other series. I haven't seen the other season two ones. Some of them I'm going to see still. I'm going to see the one that somewhat seems very disappointing, but I guess as I find out myself, I'm going to see the one that's... um. Th- there are three series that seems very under radar, in my opinion. Well, one of them is actually more talked, more, more so than before, I guess because of the fact that it grown more popularity somehow, somewhere in... Yeah, but I just had to check out myself. But even if I didn't catch it, um, I, even if I didn't catch up, I feel like this season was really damn good. It just that uh, it has a lot of different target audience that it really suit suit well. You got the one that's returned with with more comedy and action. That's Gintama. You get like a bunch of uh, crazy, <laughs> uh, wacky comedy, uh, isekai genre. That's Konosoba. Then you got Blue Exorcist, which is pretty much like, you know, all about Exorcist and this whole world building phenomena. And it's an old series that's coming back that's actually popular in the United States and, of course, in Japan. And then you have a lot of the new ones that seems to be asking for us, hey, can you can you support us so we can stay longer? And you know what? Maybe we, maybe we will. It just depends how good it is. And some of them are really interesting. So definitely go on to check them out. Uh, there's lots to say about winter, but again, I only seen very few, and even so, I feel like the season, the season itself, is damn good. Oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> um, that even, even rewrite season two was really good too. I well, I haven't, I'm sorry. I don't know if you've seen that, but like, uh, for what they've done with it, I mean, it's it's amazing. I won't spoil anything, but yeah. Well, to be honest, I haven't seen season one, but because I heard season two was coming out, mm-hmm. so I didn't. So I was like, put it on hold. But since you tell, since you put it that way, I probably will check it out the, the, for season one and season two. So that sounds pretty um interesting. That because there are series that does make that's a there are series that season two just overshadow season one, but in a good way because it just makes you wanted to. Give it another try, and they're like, "Oh, wow, this is even better," you know? Yeah. Like, I, mean, I think the only thing that failed, as far as it's like from season one to season two goes, is like Nisekoi, because I remember season one was actually pretty good, and then I don't know if it was the direction of season two, but I remember like after that, it kind of kind of went downhill. Well, 
in my opinion, it was the direction. And it was weird because the way how it ended, it ended on a, oh, just an episode. It just ended. Like, there's no, like, okay, this uh, meaning of this episode, they build up for this, they whatever that. You know, a lot of series, even if they don't have, even if there is no ending, they just end at the right moment at the very least. Like, these, like again, these are quite, if you look at season one, without giving too much away, it did end on the more... Uh, on a stronger note, because it's like a oh a huge development, and you know, since it's about uh, rom com, romantic comedy, obviously something romantic was developed, and I won't I will spoil you, but the point is something happened, and that left on a good note. The season two, I didn't learn anything new. <laughs> it's well, just like, it was just an episode. It was just an episode, and it's like okay, you can leave now. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> That was the weird, yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. That was a weird season. I mean, like, yeah, it's nice to have more Nisekoi, but why end there? <laughs> it was weird. But regard, but, any, but anyway, season, this winter season is over. Now we're heading to spring. And, you know, I'm not, it's not to say it's bad. I don't, I just don't think it's strong as se- winter season in my opinion. No. Obviously, yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking because I was looking over the list a couple times. And I'm like, I don't know if I can say it's better because, I mean, the, the most I can find, like aside from like the big ones that people are talking about, it's like maybe just like a few things that look interesting. But yeah, like, I'm not seeing anything that's like really that's like like standing out as far as like compared to winter season. Well, the irony is when you say standing out, um, I would say it probably does stand out more in season in spring season only because the the name are larger than the one in winter because in winter you got like you know like you only got like very few you got blue exorcist and then you got gintama then you got like um uh actually see in terms of big name i can't really think of bigger name but with season for spring season even if it's not as interesting or more uh, like something that's that's that screams like anime of the year or yeah, you know, well. like easily. The thing about the spring season, they do have a bigger name, starting with Attack on Titan, and not just because it's been four years that we have an anime, but it's Attack on Titan. The name okay. itself is already huge. My Hero Academy, while it's not a huge name, it's definitely a name that a lot of people are starting to know. And, a lot, and it's and it's still a mainstream, so that's enough to carry his own. And then you got Baruto, which is obviously from Naruto, which is already mainstream, big popularity. That helps. So those three alone, you could technically say, in terms of popularity, it overshadows the one that's from Winter. For sure, yeah. That's the only thing I see. But like when you look, but in my opinion, when you look at the like the the entire listing, when you see the the the, the quality, I see that winter has better have better ones. But that does not take away that spring is going to suck or anything like that. It's just spring is something that we could narrow it down in a much shorter list. Probably count with one hand now rather than count with two hands, if not three, if we borrow someone else. But either way. I'm still looking forward to spring 2017. I am too. So even though there are series that we, admittedly we don't really know too much because their names are big or their names are really different in in terms of like our experience, like, oh, I never heard of this, never heard of that, never heard of this either, <laughs> never heard of that. Um, there's some I heard, but the problem is one of them is like, oh, this is a sixth season. I can't watch this yet. And that's that's a problem on my end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, but that is not to say, oh, we're going to ignore all those series. We're not going to do that. Well, I'm not sure about Lucky Chi, but I'm not going to do that. If if I hear good things from this series, I'm going to give it a try. I mean, I'm pretty sure Lucky Chi would do the same. But right now, he's going to check it out on the ones he definitely uh, knows already. Attack on Titan. He's going to give it a try of Barta, from what I was told, and you know, My Hero Academia, because. It's My Hero Academia. <laughs> I mean, just the stuff they're going to tackle with My Hero Academia. You know, it's like, I won't, I'm not going to spoil anything. Like, Sparta knows this too, but the like the two arcs they're going to adapt, I think will make will make it explode. Like more than what season one was able to do. 
my point exactly. Um, so let's dive into some of the series. We can't. We ain't gonna talk about all of them. We'll be here yeah. all day. We'll be here all day. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about this obvious biggest one, at least to a lot of people. I mean, could have been Barto, but it's a sequel to not everybody that much interest. So to play on the safer side, we're going to go over with Attack on Titan. Again, four years ago, since the last season. <laughs> Which is crazy. Uh, think about it. I know. It's, it's funny because I, I'll i be honest. I don't think we was, we was ever going to see this. If not, I thought we was going to wait another two years. Maybe they would have just wait for the manga to end and then boom, season two. Actually, fun fact, um, as far as the anime goes for Blue Exorcist, the last uh, season one was back in 2011. So that's been six years. So that's crazy to think about too. Well, yeah, that's true. That is true. And to be honest, it's actually more surprising on Blue Exorcist than Attack of Titan because I think Attack of Titan, they give you that hint already. Yeah. They Blue did. Exorcist gave you that sense of it ended because we did the original en- anime ending. So no more Blue Exorcist. And then what do you know? We got <laughs> Blue Exorcist still. <laughs> Back with the season, it's like, wait, what? Yeah. And they completely disregard what happened in the last episode of season one because oh. that was filler <laughs> Filler. it's like yeah we, we, we won't make it count <laughs> yeah don't don't just ignore that people move along <laughs> so now we have tech italian again it's a series that has been a while it's been a long in the making i guess you could say that we don't even know how many episodes there is i something tells me it's going only to be 12 episodes i don't know why i just had a feeling it's going to be 12 episodes and the thing turned on by itself my phone turned on by itself because it was too hype on Attack on Titan. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, as far as Attack on Titan goes, with the way, I mean, judging by the poster, um, I think I think it probably might be like the same length as season one. Like 24, was it 24 or 25? I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. but I think it was it, 25. Yeah I, think, yeah, I think it was that too. So if they're going to adapted the same way as season one was then most likely they're probably going to adapt like the the arc that they're about to hit with um no not in the manga but like they're going to adapt like the next two arcs after the the whole i mean it's not really a spoiler because it's been like like four four years but the whole female titan incident i'll I'll just say that so yeah that 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 well yeah well you know it's okay to it's a it's so it's somewhat okay to spoil the previous season. Just try not to give it the away of our for no. season two. Not like oh, oh you know this, it's gonna end when beep dies beep. <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> I, I mean, I think I have like a a good idea of where it's gonna go. Like, I mean, I'm excited for the first. Like, if they're gonna do 24 episodes, then first half is gonna be amazing. Second half, I'm not entirely sure, but I will say without spoiling. Uh, one character is, I don't want to say it, it'll divide the fan base, but people are going to go like, what the fuck just happened? It, like, that's all <laughs> I'm going to say. And I'm, I'll just leave with that. But Attack on Titan Season 2, if they're going to do 24 episodes, I'm excited. I'm really excited just to see what they're going to do with it. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, the first season did have 25 episodes. Okay. So it might be 25 episodes here, too. Second, I if you ask me when it's going to end, if you remember volume 20, then you know. If you volume. look at the cover, at least. Hmm. That event. Like, if I'm going, I, I can't, I don't want to give too much away, of course. But yeah. if you look at the poster, obviously it's going to go further. It's going to go, it, it's going to go further than, well, one of the pit, one of those two characters. Uh, that's going to exploit because you know sometimes when you see the characters on the poster, you get the idea. Okay, that part is going to happen, or that part is going to have a significant moment. Obviously, they're going to show that part. Um, what well, final cover? Actually, well, I should not say final yeah. cover because that's giving too much away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but it's clearly it's a clear indication that that person is going to obviously be the fo- uh, focus point uh, on one of the arcs. Mm-hmm. So that means we're going a bit further down now. And one in that poster, 
there is this hint that it feels like it is going to cover up to the volume 20. And I won't give it away, but let's just say it's going to be a, a, a very game changing moment in the, in the arm, in the base on the, the, in the, in the entire group. I can't say too much. I try not to give it away. Yeah, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a, not spoil anything. With yeah, the deck. It's going to, let's just say it's going to be a series of developments that you probably would not see it coming or you probably will have to, will have you divided. Because it's, it is something that's really going to change this landscape. And no, I know, I know. If I, if I, if you think I'm talking about the basement, I can give you that information because I want you to be either surprised or either to be disappointed. Because exactly. I don't want to give it away. But trust me when I say, if we do go that far, if we get 25 episodes, I believe we're going to end at that point. Um, the only thing I could give the hint is volume 20. Don't look the book. If you don't want to get spoiled, See, if, even if you try to analyze the the front cover, you know, don't try too hard because it, you may get a clue. But point is, that's how I feel. That's how I feel that if we're going to get twenty five episode, that's where we end at. If we get twelve episode or thirteen episode, I think we're going to end whatever that one character that I'm seeing right now from the poster is going to stop at. But maybe we we'll go a little further. Mm-hmm. But I do think there is one episode that people might be very excited to see. And according to the world of anime, you should know how people, how fans works the most. Oh, yeah. It's not the actions. It's not the drama. Actually, it's the drama. But it's one type of drama. Mm-hmm. And it's something to do with, you know, something with one uh, 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 bee and, uh, bees and birds. Or how that story goes? <laughs> I, I'm not entirely sure. But you know what I'm trying to say, right or wrong? <laughs> yeah. Well, f- put it this way. F- fine, I'll just straight up. I believe there's one episode that everybody will be anticipating, and it's a pairing thing. That's all I can say. Pairing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know. I know. I know. A lot of people are highly anticipated of that. I could bet you right now, because. Even if it's Tiger Titan, even if it's not pairing focus, if it's not romantic focus, they still want to see that moment more than anything else. <laughs> and that's, right. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but whatever. As long as people are hype, fine. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're hype about something, I think it works. Yeah, to his own advantage. Whatever, whatever makes you happy, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm finding out season two is only like two episodes. Wow. That's that would be uh messed up. <laughs> but yeah, well, let's definitely. Be honest, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, it's finally here. It's finally here. So I'm actually really hyped. I know people have some iffy moments with the manga after they start reading from the very point that the manga the anime ended, excuse me. Yeah. I know there were moments there were iffies, there were parts that were slow. I understand that, but I Maybe think the anime it get better. Yeah, I have a feeling the anime is going to make it justice to the point that you probably see yourself liking the anime more than the manga. Oh, yeah, because I'll say this, like, as far as the manga goes, that's one of the things. Certain parts did drag. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, but I think the anime could do it justice. Much like how in certain moments from Death Note anime, they did make it better. (laughs) They did make it better in terms of, like, pacing and uh, the impactfulness. That's the but the point is maybe just maybe the Tech of Science season two will actually do a lot of things that seems to be a problem, no longer a problem, instead to his advantage. Yes. So time will tell, but I can't wait. It's on April first, on a Saturday, I believe, right? Is it yep, a Saturday? Is. Let me check. I think it's a Saturday. Yes, it's a Saturday. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time do we get it. I think we get it on a Saturday morning. Well, yeah, we get it on a Saturday morning. Yeah, It's going to be out Saturday night in Japan. But for us, since it's going to come out, come out in um, Funimation and all that stuff, we're going to get it like what, maybe an hour later or something like that, and boom. So sure. should be very exciting. Can't wait. I, I I just can't wait for the OST. <laughs> that's just me. Uh, yeah, like that's the other thing I'm waiting for too. Because like I remember when the OST came for season one, like replaying that <laughs> at least every day. That was that was something. I am curious if they could top this OST for uh from season two, then season one. 
Yeah. <laughs> Very curious. Um, actually, I'm more, uh, also, I'm also interested if they could top the opening one, because opening one, that's where everybody likes to do a music video. It was like a trend for a moment, or actually a good long moment. It was, you see everywhere. So let's yeah. see if they could top that, too. Yeah, but, the only thing for, well, yeah, for opening one was just breathtaking. And as yeah. far as opening two is concerned, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I mean, who knows? They might even drop it, like, maybe this week. If we're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> well, can't wait. So let's go to the next series. The next series that we got to talk about is My Hero Academia, second season, a.k.a. Boku no Hero Academia, second season. It's actually starting the same day as Attack on Titan. Go figure. But it's not exact, It's not starting at the exact same time. It's actually going to start, uh, I believe, like around five hours less. Something like that. Earlier, whatever how you say it. But either way, Saturday seems to be a really good day. <laughs> like it does. If you watch both of them, you're at, you're in you're in heaven right now because you're gonna have Attack on, uh, Attack on Titan and then you gonna have My Hero Academy. So you wanted some superhero ness, then you want some Walking Dead with big giants guys roaming around. <laughs> so you got the best of both worlds in that sense. That being said, second season for My Hero Academia. I'm looking forward to it a lot, and I'm a little worried because I don't know when it's going to end, where it's going to end. I don't what, know, mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Um, I, that's what that's what's also going through my head too. Because season one, as far as I remember correct, was only like twelve episodes. So if they're going with that route again, then I don't know. The, the I think my main concern is that they hype a lot on the whole Olympics thing, mm-hmm. which is fine and it's good. But I feel like if no since I since I read them since we both read a manga, I feel like it should go one more arc to leave establishment that this series is going to the this, this series is as is epic as it needed as it should be. Mm-hmm. And it wants you to it wants to encourage you to read a manga and it wants to encourage you to hope for third season. Yeah. First season, um as a as a fan, I like the season. I like it a lot. I like how they I like how, how Bone Studio did the whole animation, the OST, the voice work. Everything was really solid, in my opinion. I just wish it didn't end at episode twelve the way it did, or just the fact they ended right there, because it didn't give you that amped up feeling of the whole scenario of the book of Boku no Hero Academia, My Hero Academia, because he doesn't give you, it only gives you a lot of, of a lot of potential of Deku, uh, a lot of things that what he could do, or like, you know, it ends with all my taking the action, which is great, but you know, you kind of feel question mark on the Deku part. So like you're definitely expecting a lot more from the like, ending of season one. Right. Because, because Deku is in the learning curve and we, uh, and we all understand that. We get that. And, you know, for manga fans, we like what we saw because it feels very, because it captures right, it, it captures the right mood, the right moment, the right tone. But when it comes to anime newcomers, they not, they're not going to know that. They don't know what to expect. They just think there's going to be a slow learning curve for the rest of the entire series, which is not really true. And if, and yes, it's still, they're still in the learning process in, in some way, but without giving it too much away. But when you but the way how they develop is like okay you start to see like how Deku becomes better at the fighting how Deku starts to be uh, very crafty at thinking what to plan out in terms of something that is against the odds it, it's a lot more than what you see like there's a potential but you kind of want to see more exploit uh, you want to see more on that that's why like at times I kind of want to compare it to like why is that One Punch Man was more successful in terms of the eyes of the of the newer fans, especially in United States, like why is it bigger than that? And yeah, it has some established fans beforehand, but it grow more, much more like a Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z level, but it grow a lot more to the point. It's like, okay, it's known as much as like, not as much, but like it's known enough that it's actually that you can't really ignore it or you can't, or sometimes, or at times you probably won't even think you won't even like, be a stranger to what's one punch man because you're probably like oh yeah i know one punch man you know it's not big as attack on time but it's certainly 
well enough to be established as a series that people knows around. Uh, because you can see in the top 10 list in the mon- uh, top 10 in the, the sell in the manga selling list in New York times. Well, not anymore. They <laughs> got rid of that. But my point is one punch man did a job well done because it established a lot of things. It, and it, it tells you what, what to know about psych Tom or what tells you, how the whole world works. It tells you that it's a gag, but not the gag that throws you in your face, but you're supposed to figure it out without really being told by it. You're supposed to understand how the whole story works out, the whole storyboard. That's what makes it clever, and that's what makes it good writing. Um, but you get everything in there. And then the last episode ends with like a very epic fight which gives you all the badassery that you need to, then you could get behind the protagonist. For My Hero Academia, you get a mix, but you get more badass coming from All Might, but not from Deku himself. So that's a little bit challenging. Now, we know the manga, and without giving away, there is a moment that he is really damn awesome. But if it goes to that point, that's my main concern right now. We only know this is the second season. We don't know how long it's going to last. No, we don't know about that either. Like, the, like, if you want my honest opinion, they could cover the whole, like, if they just cover the whole, I mean, the anime's already kind of showing up, but, like, the whole the whole festival thing, then, I mean, that would be cool, but there's, I'm, I'm not gonna say what happens, similar to what's the Attack on Titan, but there's a particular thing that happens in one chapter, like, at the end of one of the chapters, like, not saying anything, in the next arc, and if that's where the season ends, I think that would get a lot more people to be like, whoa, like, all right, so what's going to happen from this point forward? I feel like if they if they do that, and you'll know what it is like when, when we go off stream, but if, if that's what they do, then that'll be great. But yeah, the only thing that worries me too, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it nonetheless because it's my hair academia, but I'm, I'm just kind of wondering, like, how many episodes are we going to have? It's basically my end of things. But yeah, like like you mentioned before, like with Deku, there like yeah, there is one moment there where it's like they could showcase a lot with him, but the thing is will they get there? Exactly. That that was my main concern with season one. Then I find out it ends then I find out it ends at twelve episodes. It's like, oh crap. I don't know this will cut cut out well. Yeah. So at least we got season two. And at least the fan base is growing, which is nice. But and I and it's possible that season two can do that further. It's just it's only a matter of how to excite people. And I'm hoping season two will take off. I know it's going to excite excite me because I already know the manga and I already know Bone Studios usually strikes strong with the, with the second run. I mean, you could you could look back all the other series. You could technically say that for, for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because that is their second run. And guess That's what true, happened? Yeah. yeah, and guess what happened? It's it's epic. <laughs> so yeah, it did so much better. I mean, again, like Full Metal Alchemist, the, the original wasn't bad, but when you get the Brotherhood, it's like yeah, it's so much better. <laughs> it it obliterated in in a lot of sense. Now, um, Noragami is another one. I remember people got mad about Noragami original uh, season one ending. They say, like, oh, not again, the bone touch of of crappy ending, whatever. Then they announced Ar- Argato second season pretty much. And would you know, everybody praised it like no tomorrow. People lost their shit over it. I remember that. People were like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, I-, I will say this. Like, the, the ending of season one, without giving it away, it felt like it was a part of the original story. I'll say that much. I was like, huh. That's interesting. Well, <laughs> well bones do do that at times. That's that is one bad thing, but yeah. But when it when you get second season when you get second season out of them, you're guaranteed for uh awesomeness. Oh yeah. At least in my opinion. So you know, with with bones behind again. Boku no Hero Academy, which still surprised me because I cannot believe they chose this series. Not to say why you chose this series. This series sucks. I'm not saying that. No. It's more like it's kind of. I wouldn't say it's rare. I, I wouldn't say it's very rare, but it's it's a bit rare to see a, sh- a weekly Shonen Jump to get produ- being produced by a, 
a big studio that's known for like their well crafted animation. You know, Bones, their animations are top notch. They still are today. Um, same thing that could be said for um like Madhouse. You know, I don't know what was the last time Madhouse did a weekly show and jump. Was it really Death Note? I don't know. I can't really say. Um, production IG is great too, but they do sports, so only sports will get lucky. So yeah. when it comes to other weekly Shonen Jump, you either get Studio Period, you get to- um, it's a Tokyo Goo, Toy <laughs> Animation, <laughs> you get Toy Animation, and then whatever goes. Not 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 the high budget, but you know just. Fair yeah. budget anime studio, which is fine in in terms of in, in, in some in some way, but you kind of wish and you kind of spoil to begging for to get the bigger names, the bigger studios, the bigger animation budgets, guys. So My Hero Academia should be grateful to even get adapted by Bone. Shoot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like uh, I mean. It's not really going off track, but I remember like when they announced the anime for Bo- for uh, Boku no Hero Academia. I remember that was, that was like the biggest concern for a lot of people. Was like, who's gonna adapt it? Because if it was Period, I like automatically I was gonna be like, okay, <laughs> word because of how they took care of Tokyo Ghoul. And <laughs> we don't talk about Rude. Like, like that's how bad Rude was. But, uh, but yeah, you got that. You got Naruto, which yeah, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get like things behind that and it's like oh i mean the only th- decent thing you could say pair has done is bleach which even then it's like what's the way how they added in fillers and stuff it's yeah but <laughs> that, I, I, in my opinion that's their last okay uh last decent one mm-hmm. everything else i don't know what the hell is going on now granted they do get good moments they do they do have moments where the animation is gets really good but very rare very 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 rare oh yeah for sure <laughs> yeah but don't worry your worries will belong to black clover so that's fine <laughs> yeah as soon as i heard that i'm like well okay we have the worst <laughs> <laughs> and this so the sad part is that's that same that said series is begging for the best animation studio like because cause... fans know what we're talking about, so we we feel you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. If it's if we get filler hell, well, what do you expect? It's freaking period. Oh man. But um, yeah, Bone Studios is behind it. Back Boku no Hero Academy. I keep changing between my and vocal, <laughs> but whatever. You get my point is, second season's here. Don't know how many episodes. Even if I am worried at some point. I'm still looking forward to a lot because I read the manga. I I could I bone second season equal awesome. Um, yeah, that's all the evidence that I need, really. <laughs> yeah. So now we get to well, actually, I don't want. I'll say this last, but I want to <laughs> I want to talk about this uh, the series that I really wish I wanted to be hyped, but I just can't, and that is Berserk. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know there are people that are hype. I respect that. Um some of the I wouldn't say it's a problem, but the only thing that I feel iffy, even though I still respect it, is the people that are hype or are the one that never read the manga. And look, I know everybody didn't read the manga. I get that too. But and I guess I should say it's a good thing that you are hype. Even if you never read the manga, because at least you're saying the anime is doing something good. So fine, I give you that. But if you believe you're watching the 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 perfect representation of the manga, let alone a good one, you are solely mistaken, and you are solely missing out a lot of amazing piece from this series itself. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> you're missing a lot, guys. I when the 2016 anime came out, I was like, okay, let like. Like, I, mean, I mean, I haven't read a lot of Berserk, but, I'm, but I've read enough to where I'm like, okay, like, I'll check out the anime. And I remember the first couple episodes, I'm like, this, I mean, pacing just felt weird. <laughs> just right off the bat. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I get it. It's going to be censored. 
I get that part. I'm not saying where's the gore, where's the blood, where's the the sexual content. I want all of that. I get it. It's not going to be that violence. No, it's not I'm not acting for that. I don't need ultra violence in order to get pleasure. <laughs> I don't need all of that. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, you can't censor too much because if you censor too much and it looks really fake, too goofy, too hard to suspend your disbelief in an anime, no less. If it's like, you know, like, oh, he's spilling out spits, not blood. Then we're going too far. We're going deep in on on toning down. <laughs> but, but that's not my problem. My problem is it's just how it's handled. The whole production, it's just so out of whack. I mean, it's not, I guess it's not the worst, but it's it's hidden there. That's and the problem is the the series if you look if you look at the manga the artwork is fantastic but i'm not seeing any of that i'm not seeing a great choreograph i'm not seeing a lot of great impact moment because everything is so watered down every the animation is so it can be laughable at times the the artwork can be laughable at times it is just and it's funny because it's so shit it's 3d how can you still make it look so terrible in in terms of moving animation with face actually disordered or just become like something Stuart Perry will actually mess it up or anything that's Dragon Ball Super, the worst episodes in terms of animation department can still happen in a cell shaded that's already programmed. Exactly. I just didn't get that. I like when I saw Berserk 2016, I know the teaser. I I remember the poster. I was like, it looks cell shaded. I hope that's not cell shaded. Then they found out cell shaded. I was already upset. (laughs) I really lost all that hype. But I'm going to give it a chance. <laughs> I was going to give it a chance because I act because honestly speaking, even though it's not the best representation, representation, even though I somewhat preferred the first anime ad- adaptation for the Golden Age arc, I thought the triple, I thought the trilogy movie were decent, were good enough. I mean, like you know, it still have that impact. It still have that story. The associated was good too. It's not the best, but it was good, acceptable. And it was watchable, of course. Well, I mean, it's still, technically speaking, the 2016 is watchable, but my God, is if you really think you're watching Berserk as true court, no. <laughs> no, no. We are not getting that. With no. The think of, 2016 version, at least. <laughs> think it as Tokyo Ghoul Rude. It, and, oh. But not in the animation department. Well, I mean, it's already bad there, but <laughs> in, ter- <laughs> in terms of the story structure, in terms of the narrative, a lot of things has changed. Now, granted, the first season of Tokyo Ghoul changed too, but it wasn't can, that bad. It wasn't that bad. It, I I would still tell people read the manga because it has a different narration and it actually feels much deep in that sense. But if you watch the anime and you like it, that's good because the anime is not so bad. I enjoyed it. I liked the last episode a lot, but. You go in Route A, not only the story changed, and that's not really that much of a problem, but the whole thing, the plot holes, the the misconception on the characters, the way how Kanaki suddenly disappeared to only to reappear with a very minimum dialogue is very strange. He's yeah, a that, freaking that, that protagonist. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, he's the freaking protagonist. Again, a lot of plot holes because of the fact that it doesn't show you who was that character behind the shadow, what was that about. What was that development? What, what, what who's this character? Why, why he come out of nowhere? Why, why this mansion? Why this lavatory? Well, actually, the mansion never happened, but why everything just keep on coming up and there's just no resolve? What happened to Risa, who's supposed to be alive as like they interpreted it? Huh? Like, it, like she, it was supposed to be like a big deal for her? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> just completely. This- yeah, completely disregarded, completely just throwing the garbage bin. Like, nope, who cares? It makes it worse if you get the book that I have that shows you the the storyboard of the anime Route 8 that was supposed to go in, but it got oh, scrapped. Really? Yeah, it got scrapped. There's over 100 page, and I believe there's still there's supposed to be more, but obviously Ishida doesn't want to show everything because it's just depressing. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe that's not the true story, but I do believe there is more to tell. That said... I look at the storyboard and it could have, it could have made Rude A good. Yeah. That's what made it worse. It could have made it good. But for whatever reason, Studio Paris scrapped it. 
And there's so many moments that could have made Route 8 actually pretty good. And it would have been like, okay, yeah, the animation is not the best. But I like what the story is telling, even if it's different from the manga. But yeah. it got scrapped. <laughs> it got scrapped. <laughs> and the, the worst part is Riza was supposed to show up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the worst thing she was supposed to show up. She was supposed to show up, and it was supposed to be done differently, which I won't go further deep. Bottom line is, Berserk 2017, I don't know what's going to unfold. Yes, it's going to have that one moment. If you're a Berserk fan, you know what I'm talking about. It has to do with the that armor, but it's going to be awesome, I hope. <laughs> but the thing is, you should still read the manga. And if you like the anime, that's fine. All I'm saying is this. You can watch the anime, but I do encourage you to try to read the manga. Because trust me, it's night and day. It is. <laughs> it's seriously night and day. From the art, from the 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 character from the character developments, from the, the action scenes, practically the entire thing. The only thing that's the same is the names, because that's there, that's that's the only thing that's true to themselves. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> I'm thinking on my end too. I'm just like, well, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, the only question remains is, will it be better than 2016? Um, possible. That remains to be seen, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Uh, it's not hard to accomplish. It's not yeah. saying much if it is, but maybe if it gets the room A treatment, then we worry. <laughs> so. Yeah, but maybe if they do something, something. I don't know where it's, it's maybe if it really up the ante in terms of budgets, but the though the teaser trailer didn't look promising, so I don't know. But if it surprised it with a better budget and a better ca- camera work, because the camera work in season one was really really rough. Like some of the action scenes, it was hard to tell if he hit him or not hit him. For whatever reason, all the sword slash sound the same, even if it cut a steel thing. I'm like, why it sounds like he's still cutting a person. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, I remember I was watching it, and it, some of the stuff, some of the scenes just felt very like disproportionate to it was like some of the characters. I was like, it's like, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, we'll see what happens, guys. I just wish it would have went for 2D route, even if it probably might not be as good still, but whatever. Oh, well, well. Yeah, 3D, I'm like, yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, the 3D in the movies trilogy, they work. They were fine. I thought they were good. I It wasn't too distracting. It could have been better, but it wasn't too bad. But here, <laughs> I don't know. Let's hope, let's hope season two surprise me. Yeah. Oh boy. So even though the series just ended this week, it feels like it's still continuing on. <laughs> and I'm talking about the one, the only Barto. Or if you want to translate it to English, boat. So <laughs> <laughs> but it would not work well because it would just be like boat now to the next generation because it doesn't rhyme or it doesn't no, connect. <laughs> so yeah. We know that the series has finally ended. Naruto Shippuden has finally ended at episode 500. If you combine with the first series, that's 720 episodes. It almost tried to be cute to make it to 700 episodes, but they went over an extra mile because reasons. (laughs) Yeah, why not? (laughs) Why not, right? But hey, at least it's finally over. Um, I got not much to say about the last episode of the season one. uh, Season one, Shippuden. Honestly, I thought it was very underwhelming. I mean, like, it's not a bad episode, but if it's a since it's a finale, it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be that lackluster. No. I felt like it could have been more better. It could have been a lot more uh, profound. Something that just makes it seem like, yeah, that was my journey, and it felt it was well worth it. It didn't tell me that. It just told me like, well, this is happening. If there's a next episode, well, we won't focus on Naruto. Let's just put it that way. That's how I felt like. <laughs> so, what? I don't know. I mean, like, it didn't hype me up for Boruto even. But no. I guess that's that's another thing. Boruto is literally on its own. There's no hype. I mean, there's hype, but there's no really well. It's like Naruto level hype. No, there's nothing like that. There's no season two hype. There's no Naruto 
coming back after 12 years, 13 years, 18 years, whatever years, like Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Battle of Gods hype. There's nothing like that. It just feels like GT. Maybe this is how GT feels. Yeah. Like, oh, we're getting another series. Okay. (laughs) You know, it doesn't feel like, oh, we're getting another one? Oh, my God. Spread the words. Twitter trending worldwide. It's not, yeah. It doesn't have that sense. Like, and that's alarming, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, like, um, I think instead of jumping the board to, I mean, especially, I mean, we, we talked about this on the, last, uh, on the last discussion, but, like, as far as, like, manga goes, and, I mean, yeah, okay, we, we know it's going to be a prequel, so they have a lot they can mess around with, but Periot's track record with Naruto, as far as from what I've seen, uh, especially with the original content, it's very, like, no, I won't even say 50-50, it's like maybe 60% not so good and 40% good. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's funny because when, you, when, you, when you're bringing up the final episode of Naruto, because I, I, cause as soon as I finished watching it, I, I thought about Bleach, and I thought about that final episode, because the way Bleach's final episode, and, and that's assuming they don't bring back the anime, but because if the final episode of Bleach is what we have, like that final episode, I don't know. Like there was like a sense of satisfaction from it from when that ended. Like it was kind of like okay, it could be continued or the anime could just end it off right there. And with the way it ended off, I thought it was it was perfect. So I mean, I don't know. Like, what's your thoughts on it? You talk about the Bleach ending? Yeah, like when you're comparing it to the Naruto one. You know, even though, well, to, to be fair, Bleach didn't have, um, Ichigo didn't have too much of a purpose to be around. But if you ended right in that moment that the anime ended, if it actually would have been suitable and it actually would have been fine. It would have been more, because it, it didn't rush. Even though Foodbringer is not exactly the most interesting villains, at least it ended at the point that says, like, Ichigo really loved the life as a Shinigami. So he got her back. That's awesome. Welcome yeah. back. The end. Fine. I wouldn't mind that. That's like doing Final Fantasy X2 right there. <laughs> so, at least compared to the manga, you know, the manga feels kind of rushed. Actually, it was rushed. It felt rushed, and it felt like a lot of things just want to cram in, even though they have not, even though they don't say much about other things, unless you read the novel, which is half fine and half not fine. Because novels is like, you know, it's his own territory. The manga should be seen by the entire public, and that's what we have to see too. Because we're not getting the manga, the 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 novels. At least I don't know if we ever will. That's the problem. Yeah. So, regardless, I thought the anime version was fine. I thought it was actually decent. In fact, I would say pretty good, even. I guess it is not has to do with the pairing. It's nothing to do no. with that at all. It has to do with the context. It has to do with the way it delivers. And it felt like it was like a satisfying end to say farewell. It didn't feel like it trying to do something too different to say like, oh yeah, remember these characters? Because they're important now. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem I have with Naruto. If you watch the last episode, if you watch the finale, it doesn't feel too much of Naruto base because he doesn't get that much line. He doesn't really get that much saying on anything. So it just kind of feels rather a little bit strange to have the side characters to do the ending for him. Now it would have been, it would have worked if the side characters showed the congratulation, all that stuff. And Naruto will have the final say that really connects to these characters because the side characters didn't get that much development. So I didn't feel too connected, or nor did I feel like they deserve everything that they, they, they deserve the screen time after these long journeys. And yeah, I mean, like they finally get in screen time, but so damn late, it just doesn't work that well. Yeah, like towards like the final end of the series, it's like, uh, no, you should have brought that stuff in like throughout the series. That way, because I feel like if you had done it that way, it would have been a, a a lot more impactful with the way the episode wanted to portray itself. Exactly. Um, I think the another problem is it's like they're trying to do I guess they try to mimic to Dragon Ball, but it, oh, yeah, with the way how that ended with Goku and Chi Chi. Yeah. It, it feels like they're trying to mimic that, but even if they're not, um, it's just 
I don't know. Like again, again, it, 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 you don't need to compare. It just doesn't really feel that strong sense of accomplishment. And that's why I didn't get any of that. If anything, I get. I feel like I got gypped because I feel like I got a completely different ending for something that I didn't know I was building up to. No. Like marriage. The reason why Dragon Ball works is because it was about Goku's and his adventure. So there was no real end game to say, like, I must receive this in order to satisfy you guys. Mm-hmm. Like, if Luffy somewhat gets to the final, uh, new goes to New World, and then he gets to the raffle, I think that's the place name, yeah. uh, to the final place to get One Piece, but he never gets One Piece. We don't even know One Piece. And then the series just end. How will you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> And then he doesn't become Pirate King. He decides to do something different and he wants his journey further. But it ends. That doesn't really help people. And I'm like, even if he marries Tsunami for whatever reason, it just doesn't feel complete still. Because no. that's not that's not what we came for. We yeah. came for him to achieve his goal. And his goal is first and foremost to become Hokage. We yeah. didn't get that. <laughs> we no, didn't even we get that. Aside, cause you would think that you would get something like that with with Naruto, because that was established since episode one. It's like, okay, he wants to be Okage. So you would think by the final episode, I mean, even if we don't see the inauguration, just seeing him as Okage, sure, that would work. Yeah, at least give me that. I would just accept that. Even though if I don't see the inauguration or whatever, I still want to see him to get that dream. That's all I'm asking for. And the people who wonder, well, you know, you won't get the psychiatrist to show their respect and everything. Now, here's the thing. Instead of the countdown to the wedding, for whatever reason, have that countdown that makes it all too special, why not have a countdown to him becoming Hokage? That would have been much better, actually, if they'd done it like that. Yeah. I mean, if you want the marriage, fine. But don't end it there. End no. it with the Hokage. <clears throat> have the marriage happen like the second last arc. Then the final arc, I don't know, just have the celebration preparation for Naruto becoming Hokage. Have do that. Why you didn't do that? Yeah, like, like that's the thing. I, and I think I think some people have kind of forgotten that. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, the ending was so beautiful. But, like, you got to think about, like, like you started the Naruto, like, because I'll be like, because when, when I started watching Naruto, it wasn't because of a, because of a fucking marriage. It wasn't because of that. I was watching that because I was like, all right, I want to see how this kid achieves his goals. And as far as the anime is concerned, you don't even get that. No, <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's a, such a weird change up. But again, you go back to Dragon Ball. It makes it works because it's about Goku's just having an adventure. We're just joining the adventure with Goku. But there's no end game. There's no like I there's must no collect. All, yeah. No, there's no end goal. There's no him saying like I must collect all Dragon Ball to become the King of Dragons. There's nothing like that. It's just him. Just we're just following along, going a journey, going a fun adventure. And, you know, the funny thing is he managed to accomplish a lot of things that he couldn't accomplish since the beginning of Dragon Ball. And he accomplished by the end of the series before we head to Dragon Ball Z. But in terms of Dragon Ball, he did a lot of great things. He did a lot of things he wanted to do or, you know, couldn't do beforehand, but now finally did it. And every character has their own perfect ending, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I mean, it's it's like, you can also say with Dragon Ball, like, you could you could kind of say that, like, you don't really even have to continue watching the story after Dragon Ball. Because, I mean, Z is still cool. Like, Z is, like, well-known and stuff, and, and I love Z. But if you look at it as far as, like, a continuation goes, like, like I, I don't know about you, but I feel like Dragon Ball, like, it's conclusive enough to where you could say, it. it's nice if you watch Dragon Ball Z, but it does feel a little bit more concluded, which, with uh, Dragon Ball. Exactly. Um, no, it, well, you know, Dragon Ball did feel more concluded, but still, like again, I, I like I said, if if you end it right there, that's perfectly fine. Uh, for Naruto, it should have just ended with his dream, especially that ending does exist in the manga. So why not yeah. do it in the anime? It's not like it got canceled; it didn't. It's no. there. <laughs> so what? Such a weird way to end. And yes, I know they're trying to say watch Boruto, and you can see him as a Hokage, the one that he wished for to get. Fine, but that's a, technically a new series. I'm not yeah. trying to look at this as a new season. I'm trying to look at this as a new series, a sequel, a, a, a brand new story, a brand new start, not a continuation of the already started series. 
that's mm-hmm. the, that's that's my problem. So now it ended just with a marriage that actually we didn't get to see it. <laughs> so honestly speaking, that ending just felt like it was it belongs to a so- shoujo manga. And, that's how I felt too. Yeah, it, it, like literally focused on her, on Hinata, the wife of Naruto, the soon to be wife on, of Naruto. In that sense, that timeline. We focus a lot on her. We focus on more of acknowledgement from her side, which she received. But where's my Naruto part? <laughs> like, yeah. where's, like, since when Naruto gets shafted this much? I mean, yeah, he got shafted a lot in store in part two, but besides the point, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, look, I find the end, I find the final episode underwhelming. I'm not. I didn't get teary or anything like that. I thought the good part was with Riruka. And for whatever reason, a lot of people try to sk- skip that scene. Why is that, guys? Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> I think that's the, that's the closest thing to w- the beginning of the series. I'm like, okay, so the Riruka thing, I feel like, is like the only thing that you could be like, okay, that, that, that that's a nice callback, but everything else is just like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I bought I, 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 I somewhat buy to to that whole conversation between them. I just wish it didn't drag too long on his end, especially if, when it comes to that camera work part. I feel like that could have left a, a bigger impact, but he just kinda made it into a normal thing which didn't have too much flair. I kinda wish he had more saying in the marriage thing. But they never did that because they just say like, "Oh, I gotta prepare more," and then uh, Kagashi want to advise him, "Don't worry, be cool," something like that around there, which is okay. But I should it should have a lead up to it should have a follow up. A follow up would have been a very sentimental moment that I would actually be like, "Yeah, that was good," but it never came through. It just feels like a lot of things feels incomplete. It kind of reminds me of the other manga, which I won't spoil you here, but. The difference with that manga, that's that manga I won't say, that th- there's a moment that's similar in Naruto. Not too, not exact, but it's there's some similarity. But in that other series, is it has a powerful meaning. And so when that happened, you get uh, you get flustered with a lot of emotion in one in one scene alone. One giant two actually it's not one panel. It's actually two pages. That it just felt so powerful. Even though the ending itself is a bit underwhelming too, but I won't spoil you there. Point is, there is that one moment that just felt so powerful, and I felt like Naruto tried to do that. Maybe he tried. I don't know if he was trying to do that, but the problem is, it's just it ended so short. It ended kind of abruptly, if anything. It, it, it did end it abruptly, at least in my yeah. opinion. So, I, I don't know. Same with you. Like I felt like it did end up. It ended like. I, like abruptly, and I wouldn't even go as far as saying maybe even like unsatisfactory too, because I was just like, I was like, kind of like, really, like, this is how we're ending off like a series that's been going on. Like, if we're counting not just Shippuden, but if we're also counting the original series, like, maybe since I can't remember exactly when the anime started, but it was like 02 or 03. I can't remember the time I have it. Uh, the anime, the original anime? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the original anime. The believe it or not, the the Shippuden actually started ten years ago. Yeah, that I know. Um, okay, <laughs> let me actually check just to see. Okay, so Naruto, two thousand two. So over fifteen. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> two thousand two. Yeah, five no, years. That, that's kind oh, of I, I, that, I find uh-huh. that kind of ironic because um. So it's That's 15 awesome. years. So the, the cute part comes in is that they lasted 15 years just like Naruto, the manga. Mm-hmm. Fine. <laughs> but still, it's like, which I guess it also adds the question. I was like, so which ending was better, the anime or the manga? And I'm like, you know what? As much as I don't like the manga's ending, I will give the manga credit on like showcasing the dream. I'm like, okay, you, you get that much credit now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, and yeah, that that is one upside of the manga ending. It's just that it shows the conclusion, the one that we waited for. Even if it wasn't strong, even if it wasn't that amazing, at least we got the conclusion. Yeah. For the anime, felt like it was the conclusion that the anime wants. Now, it happened in the novel, fine, I get it. 
It happened technically canon, but point is that's not his end game goal. His he actually has one, and that's the Hokage. Even if a lot of people say like he doesn't need to be Hokage, he's acknowledged by millions of people now. I understand that approach, but since he comes out talking about being Okage for the past a couple of last chapters of the manga, then, why, then, then that means it's still significant. It still holds a strong meaning for him. And it's not just because he wants to do it just for the sake of love. He wants to do it because he does love them. So where's that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nope, forget about that. It doesn't matter. You got to love the Hinata. You, you probably hear some appreciation from other guys. But that's it. Just get out and get married and bye. <laughs> that, that doesn't really sink well. And that was my main problem. So I was hoping if they were to adapt somewhat from chapter 700, maybe the ending would have been a little bit better. Actually, yeah, it will be, it like it will be better. I think it would have been like, okay, like, okay, that, I, I'm, be, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it would be better. But for what I got, it feels like they want to stretch out too long just to get to that moment of the ending with, you know, just walking out of that door and that's it. Yeah. But it left so much to be desired. And again, it could have have, it should have have, if, if, if they don't want to do the marriage scene because they have to show the kiss scene, you could skip that entirely. And you could just get to the part where there's like, make a toast for the groom and bride, whatever. You could just tell them like, oh, you know, you know, Iruka could actually recap the entire story in one sitting. That would have been great, but yeah. it never happened. It never came through. That was a missed opportunity. I guess the best I could say is this whole thing was a missed opportunity that could have actually be better than the manga, and it actually would have left a better, satisfying note for a lot of fans. But instead, it just ended like, you know, we got Boruto. You're going to watch that, right? Well, okay, let's go. So what was that? I don't know. I wish it didn't thought of that way but yeah it is what it is like even the credits like the, it just felt very tacked on like okay it's like yeah like you get naruto passing on the baton i'm like so it's like yeah there's there's another season i'm like okay <laughs> yeah pretty much it's like oh we got a new season even though technically it's not really a new season it's a new series yeah <laughs> sure. so with that said about the new series you know, it doesn't waste no time because we're getting a new series in this spring. I yeah. have zero idea what, what to expect from this series. All I know is I feel like the anime advertisement has been lying to me as I've seen the clothes reveal for the characters that we're going to see, such as Sarada. I actually have the clothes from the manga, not the anime one. No, we got to get the manga because God help us, we get fan service directed exactly. by the same guys that have been doing it over the top fan service for fairy tale anime. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even considering the fact that like, if you look at the posters, like Sarada still has her original outfit on. And it's like, when you see the preview, it's like, wait, what the hell is this? Yeah, exactly. And they, and it's weird because supposedly this takes place before the, the, the huh? Like before the movie, before the movie. Yes. It yeah. takes place before the movie. So technically they will be younger than the movie age. And I, guess they may still do chapter 700 the actual ending but that would just seem really forced and out of place this at this oh, yeah. point i mean if they make that like the beginning bit of episode one i'm gonna be like um okay <laughs> i think that my main problem is which is weird because you know i don't mind these kind of animes at all but i feel like I, I guess I'll give them a, a pass a bit just because Barta is technically a new series. But from what I've been told, um, if I read correctly, if I read correctly from Kishimoto himself, he wants to make Barta like more laid back and more of like... Like and, a slice of life? Yes, slice of life. Slice of life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I don't mind those series. You, I watch so many of them. I really enjoy a lot of them too. I just think that it may not be the best option for Bard. So it depends on how the writing goes. Because we technically kind of see slice of life from Naruto Shippuden. Some of them are okay. Some of them are pretty cringeworthy. Oh yeah, which is worrisome. <laughs> and yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know how Kishimoto could handle this one because you know there's not. It's been a long time since he's proven me that he can do a, a writing justice, and that's a long time, it's very long. So I don't know if this is gonna go well. I and it also. It's also worth mentioning that it feels like the series is going to be a targeting like a minus two original target audience in terms of age. So in other words, we, I wouldn't say we're going to see op, 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 uh, Dorimon. I wouldn't say we're getting that type, type kind of anime tier. But I do expect a lot of things not to be as gruesome as the season one and hour to begin nothing like that nothing like yeah. anything that you probably see from the last year Putin days it's going to be I have a feeling it's going to be a, a lot toned down especially yeah. if they have a new time slot as well it's no longer on Thursday as like every other Naruto instead it's on Wednesday so yeah I don't know if that's supposed to be a good thing bad thing or just nothing thing but something that tells you that says we're not in that target audience anymore. Yeah. I don't know if that's saying that. It's possible I'm just overreacting in terms of time slot. And it's true. But point is, judging by what Kishimoto has said, it seems like he's just going to do differently with Barto. And not just differently as making it more a slice of life, but more of like a target audience. So whatever the jokes that feels fall flat, it's probably because it might only work for kids, but not for teenage and up. Yeah. And green, like I'm sorry, but um, like even the like I'm, and I think I might have mentioned it before, but like even like the preview we got for for the show, it was like I don't want to say like I don't want to say it didn't feel appealing, but it it just felt like there. I think that's the uh, one of the main problems too. It just it doesn't feel it doesn't. I mean, I guess it is supposed to have that sense of energetic, but in the same time, it doesn't feel like it. It's there too as well which is kind of weird but i guess the problem is is that it's a sequel that maybe it would have worked if you give too much more time left over yes i know that manga ended two three years ago now i think so yeah wait two, two, two 2014 yeah so it's, it's been about three years yeah you can say three years um <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can say three years. Sorry, I, I'm laughing because I saw somebody like a tweet. Of a, I, 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 it's funny, funny timing. Now I think about it because that tweet that that tweet I posted actually has me saying like, "Wow, Naruto Shippuden has ended." There's only one thing to do, and then he posted this gif from the guy who made that video <laughs> where you have Gintoki looking at a Naruto DVD or whatever. And then he spits oh, at it and yeah, then throw it away. <laughs> he spits at it and throw it away. That's not real, everybody. It's not a real thing. But it, that's a hell of a edit that a guy did. If I that mean, actually was real, I would have been like, that is actually impressive. It's <laughs> a, what did they got with that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if, uh, long time ago, I thought it was real. Honestly speaking, I thought it was real. I was like, what the hell? What enemy is this? I got it. Wait, 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 this? <laughs> I thought it was real. I honestly got thought it was real. I found out it was not real. I found out it was the original version, but that edit is still fantastic because that pretty much describes what I feel about the ending, honestly. <laughs> And I, I know I'm making out to be the biggest villain right now. Probably Lucky G would be my right hand man at this point. Yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I kind of that's how I feel. I mean, with yeah. all the respect. Again, if you like the series, fine. But if you if you see me not liking the series, uh, let's not be enemies. <laughs> yeah. You guys are all entitled to your own opinions at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, I know some people would be like, Oh, you're like this show. I'll speak to you tomorrow, and that tomorrow never comes. <laughs> let's just put it that way. You know, people yeah. take people think people take a lot of things too far, too serious, too unnecessarily dramatic. But that's just how they work. Me, don't worry. Uh, if I find out you like Barto, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna no, hunt for you. I'm not gonna defriend you. Whatever that term is, <laughs> I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to be like, all right, cool. That's it. Yeah. Nine, nine more to it. I'm not gonna be like. I got my eyes on you. You better, better like, watch out when you try to. Gonna, it's, it's not going to be like let's go hunt him down and try to try to straighten his ways. No, like you are, you're free to like whatever you like. Exactly. So, <laughs> well, 
again, Boruto, you know, just about the preview, minus the whole Sarla has a different clothes. And I think there's a new scan that shows more of a character design. Yes, she, she really has that manga clothes, which bothers me, but what can I do? Yeah. But anyway, going back to the teaser, it really feels very um kids friendly. The best I can describe is like coming from a rated M game turning into a rated T game because you lessen the blood, I guess. <laughs> that small subtle change will actually change a lot in terms of the rating system. Think so of like basically, Halo Four to Halo Five. <laughs> right, exactly. So basically what I'm basically what I'm saying is Barto does seem like it's going to not exactly hitting that Dorymon age, but it's going to hit the age that's like a little bit growner, uh, grown up. Like say like Dorymon is up to five year old, and then Barto will be like six to eight, and then everything else have fun, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Go but, crazy, attack on Titan, make your eyes bleed from all the death scenes, <laughs> something like that. But, but yeah, you know, I don't know. I I can't say I'm uh, I'm not I'm not hyped for Barto, but no, I'm not either. Yeah, I'm not really hyped for it, especially the fact that it's going to start off with the original content, aka filler, which is kind of amazing to have filler to begin with. <laughs> but what can you do? It's Stewie Perry. They love filler because they wanted to insert themselves. They want to insert their own writing. They want to insert their own jokes. Some of them are okay. Some of them are cringeworthy. Some of them are really head scratching, head deucing, headache. <laughs> you can name a lot of things. I don't know. It's weird because toy animation, the animation can be really subpar, but for whatever reason, the filler's ideas are really cool, are really good. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I always I tend to like this the the whole One Piece special they come out with, and they tend to be good. They, they hardly be that bad, you know. Yeah, like I think the last special I saw was uh the Heart of Gold. That was that was amazing. I like that one. I was like, wow, this is pretty good. This is pretty fun, and I wanted to see gold, which I got to do. <laughs> and now I can't wait for the Blu-ray, which I think is coming up next month. I think so. That, yeah, no, that's good. only at the same time as hard as gold, which I'm surprised that they were they didn't include that with the the film gold set because I thought it was gonna be like a like a Blu-ray comic. Like okay, you get the film and then you get like the special, which is hard to go. But nope, they're releasing it as like two separate contents. Which okay, not complaining. Not complaining here. That is true though. That is a very new thing to do. Like they actually are going to release side by side, no less. So I'm happy they actually started to bring out more different type of uh, specials rather than it needed to be only a movie or anime season. Because, I mean, they bring OVA at times, but One Piece seems like you got to keep searching. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Barto, um, you know, can it surprise us? We'll see. It's only this Wednesday. Um, yeah, six days away from Wait, the recording. Huh? Is it this Wednesday? Yeah, it's this Wednesday. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, no time to break. <laughs> that's, no that's time to crazy. rest. <laughs> we must need. We must get more Naruto. <laughs> that's pretty much the the the, the model of Studio Perry. Must more. Must get more Naruto. Yeah. <laughs> yes. God, because God knows those all those staff members could have benefited well for Black Clover, but oh well. Especially since they're bringing in the guy that the director that did Bleach and. Uh... Oh my god! Well, what was the other series that he did? It, it escaped me at the moment. Yu Yu Hakusho. There, you, there we go. Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho. I was about to say Hunter Hunter. I'm like, wait, no, that's the series he's doing now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho. I was like, okay, and yeah. then I heard they brought him, and I'm like, so no bleach anime. <sighs> <laughs> well, yeah, sorry guys. You know, you know, it's a, you know, it's actually kind of sad for me or for you guys actually. I got a message, a notification that. Hey, the, um, the notification about they added a new listing, and that was a Bleach OVA. Yeah. So I was like, huh, holy crap. Is it happening? Is it really happening? Uh, hopefully nobody react too crazy. Just be like, hmm, don't go crazy, guys. But I, I checked it. Turns out it was the old OVA. <laughs> yeah, like, I looked at it, too. I was just like, I'm, I, 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 kept, I put my, I put my, my precaution button on. I was like, <laughs> Okay, like just make sure. I was like, okay, it it was just the old movie. I was like, uh, all right. Yeah. I, I, 
I thought it was the new OVA, and then I was like, I look at the listing, I look at the information, I was like, oh, it's the old one. Oh, I never heard of this, though. It's like Bleach OVA, the original yeah. Thousand Year Blood War. I would have been like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was a new OVA, and then even the fans thought it was a new one. To the point, they rated bad <laughs> because they, <laughs> they thought it was a new one. They was like, oh, my God, I felt like I got trolled. <laughs> yeah. Huh. But no VA, no anime. Keep on waiting. <laughs> Only just thought live action film, which the Attack on Titan one is still stuck in my head. So <laughs> we'll see how. We'll... That's true. There's certainly a lot of live action recently. Uh, we're getting like three of them this year alone. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, no, the, the Netflix the Netflix films coming out too. Which oh, we got four things then. <laughs> four <laughs> things. I and and wait, I'm not sure if it already was a release. Don't we have the don't Japan isn't Japan making a a, a special version of Death Note movie? I think no, I think wait, it's like a loosely sequel to the actual live action. Oh no, I think, I think that already came out. That already came out. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it has like completely new protagonist, or I think it's a new protagonist. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it's, it's it's strange, but I don't know if it's good or not. Point I, is, <laughs> there was a new live action, and we're going to have keep on coming with more. Actually, we get actually there's five. There's, there's five. five. There's five series. No, there's six. My God, how many live action <laughs> this year? <laughs> I could count. I can name them right now. Let's see. I got Gintama, JoJo Bizarre Adventure. Okay. Psy- uh, Psyche, um, Real Life, Blaze of an Immortals. Yeah, that's happening, guys. <laughs> um, what was I lost? Uh, if you count Netflix, Death Note. Yeah. Um, that was another one. Now it's just now it's just escape. Damn. I was gonna say the Roni Kenshin live action, but that that came out like a long time ago. And that was the only time that was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was actually good. I like that. But um, there was another one. I forgot. But basically, what I'm saying is, we're getting a lot of them. Yeah. And this, I don't know. I'm not sure. Sure, I'd be happy. Maybe I should be because it only gives more attention to the series that deserves it. Oh yeah. Yeah, but um. Bleach, the live action is coming out next year, which is still weird because the fact that he announced it so far away, <laughs> so to only to now bring it here, uh, well, actually not here, but they got to bring it to 2018. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, it does feel kind of weird. Yeah, but whatever. I mean, maybe like one of one of the fans told me that maybe it's their way of saying, "Let's see if this can work," and if it does work, then maybe bring back the anime. And if that's it, I'm like. Probably wouldn't do it that way, but okay, I guess that that's somewhat possible. You you never know because sometimes it benefits some some series. Like Gintama was benefited by the movie. Yeah, I mean, like they were saying, like, well, after the movie, we'd be done for good. And then the movie did too good because <laughs> because the fans catered too much, and it was limited release limited releases in the theater. So imagine that that. It almost catch up. It almost had the exact same as the last hours of the movie, which had a bigger, broader theaters listing. True. So imagine that. Well, because of that, they got we got season three, and then we got season four. So maybe if not, if Bleach does so. Oh, Tokyo Ghoul. There we go. Another one this year. <laughs> we got Tokyo Ghoul live action as well. <laughs> Six. Or seven. I lost track already, guys. There's so many. Could we get a season three of Tokyo Ghoul? Please, no. <laughs> oh, God. That's, uh, now I want that to bomb. With all due respect to those casts. <laughs> <laughs> I want that to bomb now. Damn, I just thought of that. Oh, why do you have to say something? Why do you have to say something? <laughs> Bringing it back to reality. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shoot. But yeah, going back to Bleach, like you were saying... <laughs> So maybe if Bleach was this does a successful job at the box office, maybe we get season three of oh, season three. Maybe we get a new season, the final yeah. season, the, the definitive conclusion season. Maybe I'm 
I kind of I really wish to see another anime season from them because again I feel like it, the anime greatly benefit them more so than any other series minus very few. But basically, it's one of those rare occasions the anime will actually do better. Oh yeah, for yeah. Sure. For hell, for all we know, maybe they would do the anim- the anim- the the anime the yeah. ending <laughs> the ending better. Maybe they would do the ending better. Yeah. Like the like during the time when the five week notice came out, they could they could probably like stretch that out and make it a lot better too. Like add more space. Like they could fillerize that stuff. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like the bleach fillers are actually pretty good for the most part. More good than bad. I'll give you that. Yeah. More good than bad. Much more so than ours. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Again, wow. guys, remember the ostrich filler. No. <laughs> <laughs> what everybody remembers that one only that one too it's like every time you talk to the person that's like that's saying like hey fillers not that bad no fillers are bad or do i have to remind you the archers episode it's like everybody has to bring that up it's like, it's like a running joke and it's it's funny too that's that's the sad thing it's funny it is archers was kicking ass was kicking ass. Should have brought that to the final villain in this series. <laughs> oh god. No. Anyway, bring it back to Boruto. Um Yeah, I'm I'm still iffy. Heavy yeah, iffy. I'm definitely iffy too. Like I might give it a first impressions and I'll probably just leave it at that because I mean I'm not really looking forward to it, but I'll, I'll be like Okay, one episode, and then leave it at that. <laughs> if you want my first impression, you just have to read it in a post. I'll post it at Tumblr. I won't do a video out of it because I'm planning to try to start doing more videos, but different variety. Yeah. Honestly speaking, I've been held back because it's winter season. I'm really trying to catch up everything. I could have done that a while back, but. I got stuck to the leftovers from the last e- last year, and some there is some series I wish I would I would have talked about, but you know, too late, I guess. But it, it was there was there's there's I I still don't regret it because they were really fun to watch. Now we're in this season, this year, no less. You know, all the hype comes to this, all the hype comes to these series that's coming along for a long time. At least one of them is. My Hero Academia has that magic touch of bones, so hopefully season two will will blow people away. The expectation or the animation greatness. Barto either it could fail, be a big dud, or it could be a big surprise, a big hit. Who knows? Anything goes. Let's see what happens. Let's, hopefully it's not too childish to the point that it makes it awkward to keep cheering. You continue to watch. And then I'm not talking about Pokemon level, even far below that, which is saying a lot. Well, actually, not yeah. too much, to be honest with you. But if it goes like Dorymon level, whoops. <laughs> then we jump ship completely. Like none, none against Dorymon. It's a child. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying Naruto just came back from a rated M mature. Now it's going to rated E for everyone or EO. Early early childhood EC whatever it is I don't even know that rating system still there, but we'll see we'll see. Um, Berserk, God help it. There's <laughs> a lot of different series out there. With that said, what is your most anticipated out of all the choices in this spring season? Okay. Um, besides from the ones we mentioned, uh, I I'll, I'll say this. Attack on Titan is definitely at the top just because of, like, how many years we've been waiting for it. Boku no Hero Academia, again, like, because we don't, like, we, technically you can say the same thing for Attack on Titan, but because we don't know, really, like, the set amount of how many episodes we're going to have, it's kind of the only thing that kind of concerns me for Boku no Hero, but I, I will say that that's definitely number two. And Borto is, even though I said I'll do a first impression, I can really, like, like do it with that because it's, I don't, it's not really something I think I'm going to focus on that much right and berserk i want to say it, it it could be all right but because of 2016 i'm like ah, like the expectations <laughs> well you never know i hope 
Uh, I hope for the best, honestly. What about you? Well, I think it's safe to say, without being pref- uh, without the whole backstory of like, oh, I know the manga and stuff like that. I would still say Attack on Titan, Attack on Titan season two is my anticipator because, you know, it, it did because I still remember season one vividly. I have the Blu-ray, which I haven't shown to the display, but I do have the Blu-ray itself, the whole collection. Kind of regret it because I kind of wish that I have the two separate parts one because the artwork was much better. But That's whatever. Right. I've also got the 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 part one and part two sets of the Blu-ray. Yeah, I kind of regret by not buying them, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, next next time, be smarter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as for our season two transition from season one, you know, the, it left on a on a strong note from season one. It was all hyped. It was all in. Uh, it was all in. It was all intense. It was awesome. It was like. It was my way to get back in anime because I was like, oh, anime can be fun again. Or, oh, anime can be this intense again. Since I came back from the Moe overload <laughs> moments, that really killed my vibe to enjoy anime. <laughs> but now I'm back. And some of the Moe is not really bad. It's actually some of them are pretty damn good, to be honest with you. I mean, fine. The character design, you kind of wish they were more realistic base, But... It is what it is. That said, Attack on Titan Season 2, I'm looking forward to the most because everything left on a strong impression from Season 1. That cliffhanger, even though I kind of know what's the deal, but I won't say it, but that cliffhanger from Season 1 was pretty, um, you know, the huge WTF moment to the fans. <laughs> and I only watched the anime. So there's a lot of anticipation coming up. Now, I... Do you think Boku no Hero Academia Season 2, in terms of animation, might be better? Might end up outshine Attack yeah. on Just by a bit? <laughs> not, not, not a tiny bit, but a bit. <laughs> yeah. But I do think it's going to leave a more impact from Attack on Titan because of the, the magnitude of this world. And My Hero Academia is going to just stick with the for now, the festival. But if it's more than that, we're going to see a lot of things that you should be hyped for. You should watch this series. You should keep your eyes on the manga, the anime. If hopefully you get season three, especially with what's going to come in, like the next. Well, again, we're, we won't say anything for Boku no Hero, but what comes next? If they're going to adapt a certain thing in season two, then just all ears on that. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Prepare, prepare to be surprised. That's all we could say. Now, granted, if it goes like, uh, like thirty six episode, there is one one other moment that is is freaking epic as well. But we can't spoil you, and we can't guarantee the anime will go there. But trust me, if the anime could surpass the one that they've been advertising, you won't regret it. No. That's the thing. That's what we're hoping for right now. Uh, for Attack on Titan. There's a lot of good things. Uh, again, we do we do have some problems. They're not big, but they're like a little bit of a problem. But we do believe the anime will fix a lot of that. And they will probably pace it much better to the point that it becomes flawless. Not saying the anime will be flawless, but that part would no longer be is it, it won't be long, it'll longer be an issue, yeah. Right. So we'll see how that's gonna go. Maybe they will still flunk it somewhere, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that's my main anticipation. If is there any anime I would like to try out just to gamble on it? No idea at the moment. I'm still going to follow Berserk. I <laughs> I'm just gonna hope for the best. Uh you know, I don't know any anime to take a risk. Maybe I would just wait for more people to receive any like attention, like, you know, this anime is actually pretty damn good. You should really check this out. Really? You know, some a moment like that will cap will get me will have me trying that trying now other than that yeah tag of time is my most anticipated anime followed by boku no hero Academia, which i keep shifting between that and my hero <laughs> um barto you know best of luck let's see what happens i i i know i know a lot of people knows me like i really don't like the series a lot <laughs> i understand that 
but even I am fair to a lot of things, and I'm still fair to the ones that I don't like myself. So let's see what happens. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, like, well, let's just see what happens with, like, with, I mean, yeah, like I said before, like, Broken New Hero and Attack on Titan, for sure, like, most anticipated in Borto. Mm. That's kind of just all I can say. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so like I said, I believe the first one will be these two series, Boku no Hero Academia and My uh, My Hero. <laughs> my, I was going to say My Attack on Titan and Attack on Titan. So... I should honestly just call My Hero Academia instead of just being like, yeah, it's two times. I'm like, just stick to one. <laughs> be less confusing. Yeah, sure. But yeah, um, these two are starting off first. I believe, mm-hmm. if I if I get it correct, hopefully I got it correct. So there's the start. They're the ones to start off. It's a good start off. Oh, it's a hell of a start actually. Oh yeah, but, um, yeah. That's next week, April first. Not an April Fool, guys. Uh, starts uh, starts around. I think one of them starts around five thirty in Japan time. We should be getting it in the morning. Actually, I think we may get my hero Academia. Around the midnight hour uh, in in the United States time area, it's been mainly the Eastern t- Standard Time. I can be wrong because I'm really not that good at calculating about that part. Point is, April first is the day of spring begins. So, looking forward to all of those, and let's see what happens. Yeah. All right, and that would do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Lucky Chi, it's great to have you back again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I was going to say more, but I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> That's why I was going to like... Uh, I, I, I totally this. zoned out for a minute, but... Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you're, you're good. Um, yeah, no, it was fun. I, I had a great time, as always, just being on, on one of these. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get uh, some interesting topics to talk about. One of these days is going to happen. It's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And yeah, hopefully season this season will be very fun. But again, yeah, again, it's great to have you back. Hope to see you again down the line. Looking forward to it. All right. So with that further ado, I'm Sparta 3G. I'm Lucky G7. And if you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel. And my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care. Catch you later.